Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? What's up? Sherry here. I'm as excited. There's going to be a full moon tonight. That's when I shine. I'm a Cancer, so I just love this energy. feels like something opens up in me, and uh, I can really um, feel intuitive messages and whatnot. Um, it's also the spring equinox as well tonight, so I feel like there's a portal opening tonight. So I wanted to do the reading early, the Twin Flame reading. So this is going to be for uh, March the 20th until the 28th. So I hope you're all doing well. I am using the Dorian Virtue Romance Angels. So let me pull the cards first. I also wanted to mention that I'm doing a collaboration with Lisa from um, Love Revolution with Dr. V. So we're answering some viewer questions. The link will be below if you wanted to add your question as well. I'm not sure when that video is coming out. Um, I believe that she's going to be the one who's going to be editing it, that kind of thing. So I'll definitely let you know when that is going to come out. Um, so let's finish pulling the cards here. If you want to order my deck, you can contact me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. Get in there. Okay, so they're all going to be upside down, so i got to flip them over. Okay, so... The overall energy for the reading uh, is called passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this is the energy that the twin flames are going to be in. So, you know, that really goes along with the Aries energy that we're entering into. It's creativity, power, passion, um, feeling a drive, right? So I think I might just want to look at the book here. And just give you a quick rundown of what the energy is about. Okay. So it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So your prayers for a great love have been heard and answered. And it all begins with you. You have the power to revive passion in your life. In fact, no one can bring it, it to you but you. So this card guides you to seek that which brings you great joy, such as a hobby, a cause, or a special activity, anything that stirs your heart and joy with passion. Um, joy will help passion bubble up and positively. Ah, my gosh. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Uh, I'm going to definitely have a hard time talking. Uh, it's Mercury re Retrograde in Pisces, so there's an element attached to it as well. So... Let me try that again, shall we? Anything that stirs your heart with joy uh, will help passion bubble forth and positively flow in your romantic life. Okay, that's it for reading. Oh, good. Okay, so overall energy, passion. Fantastic. Let me just flip these over real quick. I'm so OCD about this type of stuff. And I have a hot glue gun injury here, so try not to stare at it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay. So let me give these cards a quick shuffle also. My cards. I've already shuffled them pretty good before coming on camera. So let me just give them a quick shuffle in front of the camera. Again, I'm selling these for $75, which includes shipping. You also get a... Um, a clarifying um, PDF file as well, 43 page little uh, short version. And um, I'm also selling my little clarifier cards. Um, and what else? That's it, I guess. Oh, yes, if you want to order it with reading, it's $100, but that uh, price is going to be increasing on April the 1st. Okay, so let's continue on. Okay, so what is in the past position for the feminine? Give your relationship a chance. Work 
on your partnership. So the past position, we see the feminine almost reluctantly um, giving the connection a chance. You can see the masculine energy is directed right towards her where she's kind of turned away. Um, yeah, I don't know. So let's see what the clarifiers say here. Okay, so temperance, which is patience, follow your heart, and the student. So patience, temperance, finding balance in all areas of your life. So there's a sense that she has found this, um, I guess, space of balance and peace and harmony. So this is coming in the past position. So it looks like she's been doing a lot of internal work um, and trying to spread herself evenly amongst, you know, the things in her life. So in the present past position, we have, see there, I can't talk, uh, follow your heart, which is the Seven of Cups, Dorothy, Wizard of Oz. So feeling lost and confused. So I just did some uh, impromptu readings a couple of days ago. Uh, and one of the readings was about uh, feeling ghosted. Okay, so that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on with this card is being patient, trying to temper yourself, um, but le being lost on the path, not really knowing where to go, but being open to giving this connection a chance. So the future position we have is student, so the page of pentacles is you sitting down, committing to a long-term goal. So again, I was kind of picking up the same energy in the ghosting reading, and it's, you know, just focusing your attention on the 3D reality instead of being pulled back into these lost thoughts, wondering what's real, what's an illusion, you know, just feeling lost. For the masculine, he got flirt, so extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, um, you know, this is a very playful energy, innocent, pure, gentle, um, you know, putting your best face forward uh, in order to attract someone into your life is what I'm kind of picking up with that. So let's see what the clarifiers are. So Two of Wands, the Strength card, and the Heart Chakra. So the Two of Wands is this door opening um, to the soul, to the spirit, to your consciousness. So it's an expansion of your soul. <clears throat> so this is, you know, seeing things from a higher perspective and, and looking at life differently from a more spiritual standpoint. So within the masculine energy, there's been this opening of the heart chakra um, and the strength and power in order to do something, to create a space that is gentle and loving and giving. Um, so it's like he's humbling himself in order to flirt, to show his love. The future position is the heart chakra, so this is unconditional love. Um, it is a motor that drives consciousness. So this could be the future of the present or the future of the future or the future of the past. So it may have already come to be. Uh, it all depends on your situation. Okay, so let's move on. I want to look at the foundation next. So it's a shared energy. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, you know, we have that feeling of a past relationship coming up with the, the feminine side and a desire to move forward in a connection on the masculine side. So this, you know, obviously points to a twin flame connection, someone that you have deep emotions for that you've never felt this energy for you know, or love for this person before. And so you can't stop thinking about them. So um, there is this feeling that you guys are standing on this foundation of a desire to reconcile and, and grow the passion within your relationship. So the masculine got romantic and the feminine got the ice king. So this could be, you know, Libra energy, uh, the king, air, is someone who um, 
is confident about speaking, expressing themselves. Uh, they have clarity of thought, you know, and Libra is all about relationships, mirroring back uh, connections so that you can learn about yourself. Uh, now, this could also be, you know, the feminine kind of moving into this Ice King energy of being unemotional, making decisions, being very quick um, about their answers, you know, taking control. He's bringing in the Romantic, which is the Knight of Cups. So this is offering your love, you know, so there's a sense of the masculine is moving forward with love in his heart and a desire to reconnect. Um, and he may be coming up against somebody who is, um, you know, just unemotional at the moment. There, we've got a lot of confusion about emotions with the Seven of Cups here. So let's continue on. What is the crowning energy? What do you both desire? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so you both desire this. You both want to connect in a romantic way. Yeah, okay, so you know she wants to give it a chance. We got the flirt over here. So yeah, okay. I feel a little bit more resistance on the feminine side. Um, so the masculine got hope and seven of swords. Yes, there we go. So there is a lot of feeling of betrayal, of not being able to trust, of you know these thoughts kind of running through the feminine's mind. Um, you know, if there is an expression of love or a movement forward with love on the masculine side, the feminine is kind of creating a, a bit of a blockage there. So we got two sevens so far being pulled in the reading. So that is definitely a blockage, not moving forward, confusion, needing answers. Um, so the masculine is bringing in the hope card, which is a beautiful energy. Uh, he feels hopeful. He, um, you know, he's maybe he's gone through a difficult time. Uh, although I'm not really seeing that in the reading so far, but the the hope card com comes after the tower which is illusions coming down, okay? So there's a feeling that he is hopeful for the future, that he um, he's going to be moving into this beautiful, loving energy. Okay, so what is in the present position for the feminine? Um, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, okay, so the feminine position is definitely a stance of resistance. So she's looking at him, she's questioning, um, she's not really feeling that magnetic attraction. Um, there's a lot of thoughts in her mind. Um, yeah, let's continue with the clarifiers. Five of Cups, the third eye chakra and the ace of pentacles so five of cups past position is mourning loss so she's experienced some heartbreak in the past and which is why she doesn't know if uh, she can trust the masculine and she doesn't want to be put through that again so her third eye chakra is activated so this is her psychic ability her um a, a bit, her, her foresight her ability to pick up on hints um that steer her in certain directions, right? That little voice in the back of her head is, is, or maybe she's not listening to her intuition, but, you know, she does want to follow her intuition. She wants to listen to her higher self, but she's still holding on to some pain, some loss from the past. Okay, so the future position we have the seed of intention, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a gift, an offering, a new beginning in the 3D reality. So this usually turns into abundance. You know, it's the windfall card. So unrequited love feels like there's an offering here, but, you know, she is resistant on accepting the offer. present position for the masculine retreat it's time to disconnect from the world 
So this is somebody who's, you know, going on a vacation or getaway together and desire to really bond um, emotionally. So there's a lot of love in his heart and it feels like there's this movement forward towards the feminine, desire to reconcile, desire to express his emotions, uh, to, f to feel passion. challenges, high priestess, and contemplation. So the five of wands in the past position shows some challenges, shows some confidence issues. Um, but overcoming that, humbling himself, you know, finding that strength and courage to overcome uh, these feelings of self-worth. So the present position is the high priestess somebody who uses their intuition, um, they're looking for answers uh, in the subconscious mind. And then in the future position we have contemplation which is sitting down and thinking about how you've gone wrong in the past and changes to make in the future. So there is desire definitely to get away um, and it feels like the retreat has to do with the Seven of Pentacles in the future. Um, a moment of rest, um, well-deserved rest after hard work of creating something. Now you're waiting for the return. So it's a, a beautiful pause there. We also feel a pause with the High Priestess as well. So the masculine, you know, may have retreated um, to find some alone time in order to think about the future, um, look for those answers to the deep questions, um, seeing where he made mistakes, where the challenges and roadblocks were in the past, and, um, you know, plan for the future. So what is in the near future for the feminine? Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, um, it feels to me like there's an avoidance happening here, or it could be a karmic relationship that you're still attached to feminine but you are dealing with some type of burden or chain um, and it could be you know self-fulfilling prophecy it could be you setting yourself up for the fall you know um, feeling like you're not worthy of something I don't know let's see here okay so the ice queen the two wands again, and the high priest. So the ice queen in the past position, you know, we have the ice king here as well. So there's definitely, you know, a, a feeling of cutting off your emotions, being harsh, being, you know, cutting in your words. Um, Choosing to be alone, you know, understanding and knowing your truth and not bending to someone else's will. We see this cold-hearted um, energy here moving through a door and warming herself, expanding herself. So it, there's a freedom here from a codependent connection and then the future we have the high priest which is someone who is a, a light worker who uh, shares their wisdom their knowledge um, with others they guide others out of the darkness so this could be someone on the other side of the door guiding the feminine into this higher space um, or her transforming into the high priest becoming that light worker but definitely freeing herself from some type of bondage um, in the process. So what is in the near future for the masculine? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so he's feeling guided in a certain direction. You can see that with the high priestess over here, the heart chakra. Um, he f he's feeling guided to get away, uh, to connect. You know, the future is bright for the masculine. And here again, we, we see the masculine reaching out um, and kissing the little girl on the cheek, which is so cute. So the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, and the Base Chakra. So follow your heart 
again, you're being guided to take certain steps. So during this um, contemplation phase, again, we got two sevens here. There is a realization that in order for me to be happy, I must follow my heart. I must go after my dreams. And so that's where the chakra, the chariot, sorry, comes in. The chariot is about doing that. It's about con getting control of your life, overcoming challenges and obstacles. The strength card in the past there is an introverted energy. This is extroverted energy. The will, overcoming. And then we get the base chakra in the future position. So the base chakra is the lowest chakra, safety, security. So it's like he lands on ground is what I'm feeling with that starting new but feeling insecure about his decision but really wanting to make an effort put forth an effort so I'm going to use my little clarifier cards here to find out a little bit more information about it okay what do you mean by the base chakra not for you not for you. I'm going to pull one more card here. Ghosting. <laughs> one more. It is safe. Okay, so what I'm sensing with this right away is that you know, he's on this metaphorical ship sailing, um, moving forward towards the feminine um, off his deserted island there and then, you know, arriving on the beach, uh, but while he's going through that transition um, of emotions, there's these thoughts bubbling up in his mind. You know, what if um, she doesn't want me? Um, I, I was ghosting her. I was ignoring her. And then, you know, is it safe? Right? But the answer is, it is safe. So that's where the base chakra comes in. It's this, these uh, fears, um, of you know kind of withdrawing in the past is coming back to him um, and ultimately he you know hopefully resolves that so let's see what the outcome card is but before we do that let's move into the union energy so what is the feminine bringing in deception bam deception twice Someone is wearing a false mask <clears throat> in the relationship. So this could be the feminine wearing the false mask, but I really feel she's looking at the masculine um, and kind of calling him out, right? Um, she just doesn't trust, so she's cut herself off emotionally. Okay. So the wounded warrior, the king of fire. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I've been talking a lot today, my apologies. And also, you know, throat chakra means that you need to communicate. There's a blockage there. So the wounded warrior, past position, nine of wands, um, just giving so much of yourself and feeling like you can't give anymore, but pushing through to the end. Okay, so there's a sense that she's standing on strength and on this very powerful energy, but she's using it as um, a way to push away. Here we got the king of fire, you know, that we are moving into the Aries energy, so this could be her standing in her power and her strength, um, uh, exuding this spiritual energy, you know, attracting people towards her, but it could be a front as well. Now the future we have, the four of uh, swords, so this is healing heart, this is withdrawing from negative energy um, and you know, finding alone time in order to heal yourself and, and think about what you want to do. So there is a, a pushback energy initially that moves into a more calming, um, reflective phase. You know, she realizes the type of energy she might be projecting towards the masculine and... Um, integrating that within herself. What is the masculine bringing in attraction? <laughs> so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. He's really into um, sending out positive vibrations. 
this week. So he believes in the law of attraction. You know, what you send out, you get back. The Two of Swords, Queen of Love, and Karmic Justice. Interesting. Two of Swords, past position, feeling stuck. He makes a choice to move forward. The Queen of Cups could very well be his energy. I see a lot of water happening here. We got uh, the King, or sorry, the Knight of Cups. We got Heart Chakra. Uh, we have Flirt, we have High Priestess, which is a water card, Major Arcana. We have treat, Retreat, which is more emotions. We have the Seven of Cups, water. Uh, the Chariot, which is another Major Arcana, water. You know, making effort, express your love, passion. There's so much emotion on the masculine side. So I really do feel that he is in the Queen of Love um, energy. So... The queen is somebody who is also intuitive, but they are there for you emotionally. They, they want to talk about how you feel. Um, they want to express their love. They have unconditional love. The future position, we have the karmic justice card. So this is very similar to the attraction card. What you send out, you get back. So it's a very beautiful karmic return that happens to the masculine. You know, and also, you know, don't send out love and expect something in return. It doesn't work that way. You got to give love to everybody. What is in the heart centered space? This could be the one. You're already met the romantic partner you seek. So, again, it's pointing to this twin flame connection that's been there for a very long time. You've met this person. You both know that um, you were meant to be with one another. Okay, so one card each. I just want to say that. My car, my, um, sorry, I was drawn to the Three of Swords right away, ouch. So my uh, memory card uh, might shut the camera off. I apologize if it does. I just want to warn you in case it happens. So the Grand Awakening. So the, at the heart space, this could be the one. So the feminine is looking at the past. She's seeing the entire relationship, the connection. Um, and she's waking up to some illusions, some things that she may have made up in her mind, some reasons for blocking, some reason for, for cutting herself off emotionally. Um, and she's discovering some answers, and she's realizing, you know, that he is the one. He is my heart's desire. So the masculine, though, is bringing in a broken heart. So I'm not sure where this is coming from, so I'm going to pull an additional clarifier. So the, uh, his heart is broken. He feels sadness in his heart you know, this could be the one, it's like regret um, for ghosting, for, you know, actually over here it says not the one, right, or what, not for me, and then here we see this could be the one, so very similar energy of um, feeling like you did something wrong in the past, and being very cautious about moving forward. Why am I shuffling? Um, oh yeah, I'm shuffling the wrong deck, sorry. Okay. Okay, so what do you mean by broken heart spirit in the future, or in the heart space? Because we have the heart chakra wide open. Whose heart is being broken? Decision. The decision to do what? Toxic people. He's been hurt in the past. Childish. He was childish. Long term. Okay, so he, what I'm feeling <clears throat> from this is that in the past he's been hurt before. Um, he's wondering if. Is this really the one? Am I, is it just an illusion? Um, you know, ultimately, he, he makes that decision in the near future. He realizes, uh, you know, if this is what you want, he, you've got to take control of your life, and he does that. He makes an effort. But right now, he's in a space of questioning. He's given his heart to people in the past, and the decision to do that ended with um, having toxic 
childish people in their life that he feels were, are stuck with them, him long term. Right, and so obviously, masculine, you need to let go of that this energy. Stop blaming yourself, um, you know, and start projecting, you know, beautiful, loving energy into the universe, which is what you are trying to do. Um, okay, I hope that answers your question. So, what is the final outcome? Forgiving and learning. Very nice, feminine. Okay, beautiful. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Awesome. So the feminine forgives and she lets love back into her life. That opportunity. She moves into this beautiful light working energy, um, heals herself. Lots of synchronicities here. You know, and it, it, just to forgive yourself rather than other people for hurting you is the most important thing. Five of Wands in the past, synchronicity, moving on, and nice, Queen of No Fucks Given. Awesome. Okay, so Five of Wands past position. We have that synchronicity over on the masculine side of a car showing up twice. So there was challenge and challenges and obstacles, and it's like... Um, you know, she's looking at those challenges and realizing they're not as big as she thought they were and moving on from them. So this is uh, walking away from any type of emotional bondage or baggage, uh, codependency, discovering herself once again. And that's what she does in the future. She embodies the queen of fire, moving into that Aries, powerful uh, center of attention, you know, very charismatic, beautiful woman. Awesome. Passion. Living life with passion. Okay, and so on the masculine side, chemistry. Again, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So lots of attraction happening on the masculine side. Grand awakening, reunion, and fiery pursuit. Awesome. Okay, so both aspects are going through that grand awakening process. Okay, so a review of life. Yes, that happens for the masculine. Um, and he, you know, starts reminiscing about the past, desiring a reunion, thinking about that attraction, that desire um, that's keeping the two of you linked. Oh, one moment. Sorry about that. And then in the future position, we have fiery pursuit. Okay, so getting on that fiery horse of passion and pursuing that which you desire. Hey guys, sorry about that. My camera ran out of memory. So now I got this song stuck in my head. Right? <laughs> oh my God, showing my age. Okay, so definitely a lot of passion. So... I will pull two final cards as messages from the universe. Okay, for the masculine first and the feminine. Feminine. Uh, Hamadraid Lake. And so for the masculine, he got Halcyon. Okay, so feminine. The lake she looks alluring, home to fairy folk and frog. Yet beneath the placid glass lies an enchantress in the bog. She drinks her fill of innocence and sups upon your soul, withering your sense of self until her <coughs> sorry, her bowels are full. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I definitely feel like there's this succubus or something um, gnawing at the feminine. <coughs> okay. Sorry if you can hear my daughter. She's got a bunch of girlfriends over. So it's spring break right now. Okay. A vulnerable nymph rests herself beside a mystical lake. It's a beautiful, magical place, and she finds herself drawn into a false sense of security, not knowing of the deception waiting for her below the surface. Deception three times now. So deception and enchantment. A female with bad designs will seek to lead you astray when you are at your most vulnerable. 
She may be enchanting, but do not allow her to lure you down an improper path. Though you may feel defenseless, know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you will not be led astray. Keep your wits about you. The nephrous female in question may not be a stranger. She may be someone you already know whose goals are at odds with your own. Whether she is a trusted colleague, a long-term acquaintance, or a dazzling new friend, do not be deceived by the glamour of what she proposes. If a situation sounds too good to be true, trust your gut instinct. It is a deception. Okay, well, this card is saying is that it is a deception. Are you trying to warn the feminine that you are being deceived and to follow your intuition? A gift. Maybe someone will offer a gift and it may seem too good to be true. Careless. Be careful about false people, I guess. Um, on the other hand, you know, it could be saying that this is a gift. Trust your heart. You know, it, if it is a true twin flame connection, you can't escape it from it no matter what. Uh, you may not necessarily come into union um, in this lifetime, but uh, you are meant to be one. So let me read the masculines now. I just want to see what number this is. It's a five, and he got a seven also. A lot of sevens, and that's transition change. Okay. I'm flying, I'm free, I'm out of the sea, and that's what I was feeling right there, uh, right? It's like he's on this deserted island, he gets on his surfboard um, and moves forward, makes an effort. So, let me try that again. <clears throat> I'm flying, I'm free, I'm out of the sea, enchanted with wings. What delivery this brings? Where once I felt uh, sameness, displeasure, frustration, I'm now independent. What a grand transformation. And you see that with the Knight of Fire as well, completely transforming, moving forward. So an iridescent mermaid surrounds herself with a, a veritable rainbow of fluttering butterflies, dreaming that she too will one day gain the gift of flight. So the meaning, a transformation will bring freedom. You are on the brink of a metamorphosis. Again, that's all the sevens, eh? Your life has become stagnant, but you have the tools to make positive changes, and now is the time to use them. You might face challenges along the way in the form of other people who are reluctant to accept your decisions. There's that word decision again with the masculine. Or as physical barriers that stand in your path, but you can overcome with the chariot. Uh, be persistent. Visualize who you wish to become and do not give up until you reach your goals. Wow. He is, without a doubt, pursuing reconciliation with passion. All right, so I do hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And again, thank you for those new subscribers. I uh, want to welcome you to the tribe, the Vibe Tribe. I love you so much. All right, cheers. Peace.